Welcome back, it's still here for another episode of Final Fantasy Tactics, Star of the Lions. So last episode we just went through a routine battle in the Yugui Wood. Just fought some monsters and some undead. But now we're finally going to Riovanis, our destination, and we know this is going to be a series of battles, so... I'm not looking forward to it, but let's just do it. This is where, where all crap lets loose. And we see over there, Wegraf actually has the capacity to turn back from being the monster, the Lukavi. So this is Grand Duke Barrington. Ah, a warmest welcome to you both. I do hope you found my halls to your pleasure. They may lack the grandeur of Lazalias, but I find they make up for it in other ways. Castles built as seats of governance are so dreadfully plain, would you not agree? There is such greater beauty in a fortress built for war. Ivalice herself would seem to be in agreement, ever has she been ruled by men with power. Some might take this latest upheaval as a sign that the crown, in its austere seat, has lost the strength to keep her under reign. Your summons spoke of matters more pressing than the style of Lazalia's keep. Must everyone be in such a haste? Very well, I shall ask you outright, will you not join your strength with mine? I'm afraid your meaning escapes me, your grace. As I said a moment ago, it is power that rules Ivalis. Who do you think now holds power? Duke Larig and the Order of the Northern Sky? Duke Goltana, mayhap, with the Southern Sky's sword at his beck and call? No, I can assure you it is not they. The ones who hold true power are the ones who hold the Zodiac Stones, the Knights Templar. You think us the greatest power in Ivalice? The stones are said to possess phenomenal magic. Legend is to be believed they were responsible for the cataclysm that laid waste to Mulan in bygone days. <laughs> oh forgive me, I forget myself. It's just, I would never have expected a man like yourself to believe in such utter fantasy. You mean to tell me that you do not? Curious, I had heard that the Cardinal's death was somehow connected to the stones. Truly, as I had it, the Cardinal had taken ill. Is that so? Might I ask then, the reason you seek that young Beowulf? I can only imagine what he must have gone done to earn the label of heretic. Inquisitors do not share with us the reasons for their decisions. So, you know nothing at all. How terribly convenient. Still, I wonder if there could not be some detail you are simply forgetting. Merrick? We got their Isilude. Father, forgive me. Huh, your meaning becomes clearer. I've taken Scorpio and Taurus for safekeeping. You worthless fool of a son. Pardon my intrusion, your grace, but your long-awaited guests are at our gate. Merrick, would you kindly see to them? What is it you wish, Barrington? Cooperation? I said as much a few moments ago. It would be a mutually beneficial arrangement, I assure you. And if we were to refuse? Then I suppose I'd be forced to unmask the church's plot for what it is. Stones alone prove not. In that you are correct, sir. But it would be hard to say the same of the scriptures of Germanique. I dare contend they might generate something more of a stare. Duke Lord, Duke Goltana, even the council is likely to raise an eye at those. Where are they? Oh, who could say? You of all people must know how easily such detail can elude the mind's grasp. Wegraf, see to the mage who left a moment ago. I shall attend to the matters here. Do not think to threaten me. This is a battle you cannot hope to win. No, it is not one we cannot hope to lose. 
Who is there to oppose us? Save you feeble-bodied humans? Father? You misjudge the strength of your enemy, Grand Duke Barrington. There will be no sport in killing you. You would raise arms against your host under his own roof. The hospitality of your hall grows cold. I fear I shall have to take my leave once I've shown you the power of the stones. Well, there it is. The Grand Duke bites it, I suppose. Nothing much going here, we didn't really go through a stage off screen, we just went straight from the last stage. Uh, but I did adjust some skills, kinda remove a lot of JP boosts to replace with utility and damage ones, so I kinda like taking this seriously. You know, this is like another hurdle of the game, you could say. Okay. Starting out strong here. I'm gonna go with a white mage. So we are at the gate. my words, we can leave this place together. Death is the price for disloyalty. You know this as well as I. The Grand Duke sees all debts paid in kind. Fern cloaks are set upon their once friends, hunted relentlessly until the end. To flee this day is to live your rest in fear, ever wondering when the knife will find its mark. Such is not the life I chose to lead. But if we but finish this one last task for him, the Grand Duke will release us both from his service. He swore as much to me. Yeah, but he's gone now. Swore it on what? His honor? Do not tell me you believed him. The man's words are honeyed poison. I'd sooner deal with the devil. They make not, not such effort to conceal their lies. The Grand Duke would not lie to me. We need only kill that man and take the scriptures from his corpse. And then our chains are cut. I wanna see you try, boy. Kind of beefed up uh, Agrius's damage potential. He gave her what Luthos once was the Ice Brand. Should increase the damage of his or her one of the skills, the one with the ice. It has like a two range AoE. Alright, we got two knights on this side. We can climb through here. So yeah, better to just bomb rush that archer before it becomes trouble. One Yagyu Dark Road, this really special shuriken. It's a lot of damage, but save it. So what is this guy's affinity and weakness? Weak to ice. Archer. Damn, 91. There's three of them. Crap. All of them are gonna go for the jokes on them if I'm able to move before they can hit me though. But otherwise if they all proc their aims, they just gone.
Joseph got float. What have you done with Alma? You fear for the life of your sweet sister, Ramza. Hand over the scriptures of Germanic and you both may yet live. These words are false, Ramza. Do not be taken by them. He will tell you whatever you wish to hear and kill you both when he has what he desires. Surrender the scriptures and you forfeit your only leverage. So long as you hold that book, your sister's life is guaranteed. Okay then. I got this guy to learn dual wield, so he's be dealing massive damage. That's it for the ninja. Pro those archers probably have concentration. Reflex is not working. Damn. It's going for my monk. That's what you get, brother. Twice fought and twice defeated. I am no match for this one. Clearly. You cannot run from me, Marek. That's that. My monk's a destroyer right now. Oh, I'm gonna skip on those knights. I'm gonna go for these guys. Oh, that's a good shockwave. No, I'm not gonna get rid of them in one blow anyway. Shockwave them. Oh, what? Why did she heal? Archers are dangerous. shield bro
yeah, I remember I have a healing staff. hidden there before you reach me. Well, they're in a good spot for Agrias to cast her first spell. But that's okay. I let this guy chase me. Claws and fangs, oh gods have mercy. Pray let them be safe, Alma and Rafa too. Okay, that's it. This is just the first of the series of battles and we know this is really the easier one. The next one is going to be the real challenge, we're going to be fighting a Lokavi. But yep. Ramza. What is happening? Uh oh. Those wounds are terrible. What, what did this to you? A beast. A beast with a... Oh gods, my limbs grow cold. Be strong, sir. Be gone from here, my lady. There is only death here. Closer. Oh, 